you how to make a flare uh, for your burner for a forge or uh, for a foundry. This is a piece of two inch, I'm sorry, one inch pipe. It's two inches long. And I've cut slots in it three uh, quarters of an inch from the end down in four places. And on this side, if you can see, yeah, you can right there. That's a, a quarter twenty uh, bolt hole for a set screw right here. That will hold that on the end of the three quarter pipe. So uh, what we'll do is we'll flare this out a little bit on the end with a with a drift and uh, weld it, and that'll be it. You'll have a flare for the end of your forge uh, burner. There it is, flared. I haven't welded it yet, but uh, the drift didn't work all that well, so I used a large ball peen, the ball end of it, to force this apart, and it worked really well. So we'll weld that up and make a flare. Hi right, guys, this is the uh, the burner temporarily assembled. This is the flare that I just built for the end of it out of a, a piece of one inch set screw that holds it onto the three quarter pipe. This is an inch and a half to three quarter. Now we're down to this portion here. Let me get a little bit closer for you, maybe. Uh, that ought to do it. So what we got here is we've got a uh, three eighths fitting here. It's a compression fitting that'll go to the gas valve or the regulator. Uh, then I've got a. Uh, it goes. 3 8 to uh, this is quarter I believe uh, quarter inch nipple quarter inch valve another quarter inch nipple quarter inch coupling and then in the end here is a three quarter cap right here and what I've done I've taken a centering bit I'm not sure you can see this but everything's backwards in the camera you know but you can see where I centered it corner to corner then do did a centering bit in the center here and I'm going to drill that out and what we'll put in there is this guy uh, that's an 025 uh, MIG bit and it's a six millimeter uh, so it either takes a five millimeter drill or a 1360 force and that's what I'm going to drill the end of that with is 1360 force then we'll take and tap it to uh, get the right size and this is a uh, what is this thing it's for a six millimeter hole so anyhow that's what we'll thread with so there's there's the whole shot right there that's what we're going to do today and I'll keep you posted so I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description with all these uh, fittings and uh, what's what's needed for you down there to to build this burner and uh, I need one to get one more thing here to that'll complete this so this is a high pressure uh, propane regulator 30 psi has the gauge uh, I believe it's six feet of stainless steel hose that goes to the uh, the propane bottle itself you know just in case things get a little hot it's good to have the stainless steel and get it far enough the bottle far enough away from a for, uh, foundry that uh, you know, you're not going to blow something up. Uh, this was really a good buy. I think I got this on Amazon. I believe it was like $28 and I got it in one day free shipping on Prime. So it looks to be a good regulator. You know, 30 PSI has the, all the standard fittings on it. Everything fits everything. So, so there that part is. So then I guess the next thing to do is to drill out that uh, cap in the, uh, in the lathe. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this off, and this is a uh, a hex coupling. Oops. This is a hex coupling here, so that'll fit in my three jaw chuck. I just have a little lathe, a little uh, seven by fourteen, so it's not a big guy. It's rather cheap, but it, it does the job. And we'll just what we'll do is we'll set up with this right in the lathe, in the in the three jaw chuck. And on the tail stock, we'll take the uh, the drill bit, and we'll drill this out to 1360 force. And then we'll take this guy in by hand 
we'll turn the chuck into this hole and, and thread it that way so everything's perfectly straight. And uh, so everything should drill straight and should tap straight and we should have a done deal when we're done. There we go. All right, so I've got the, uh, the coupling with the cap in it in the three-jaw chuck and we'll just tighten this up. So we're alrighty. So that's all tightened up. Now, so let's get him centered. About right there. Tighten this tailstock down. Touch. Yeah. There we go. We're pretty much right in the middle, near the middle as I can get. So let's make her go round and round here. Get my stop off. Her forward. Start out a little bit of a slow speed. bit of wobble in that bit so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, slide it farther back in the chuck here so I don't have so much sticking out. I'm going to just move the tailstock up a little bit. Good curls out of the out of the bit. This is brass, so I'm not going to use any uh, cutting fluid on it. There we are. We just made her all the way through. All right. All right, so I'm gonna. I got the uh, the tap in the tailstock, and uh, I'll feed it from the tap end from the tailstock, and just turn it from the three jaw chuck. So basically, it's just going to be this, and turn it a couple times and feed it. And it's nice soft grass, you know, so it's. It's going to just go really easy. And back it off a couple times, you know, just like you're tapping anywhere else.
It turns pretty easy. So you just got to back it off a few times and clean it out. Just like you're tapping. Give it a little bit of feed. Alright, I just pulled it out of the chuck. And you can see, I hope you can see the threads. The threads come out really good. It cut really nice threads. So I think we got a success here. See what it looks like with the, the MIG tip in it. Okay, so this uh, came out just perfect. As you can see. That's just dead center all the way around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to center it in here in this inch and a half. So what we'll do is we'll drill we'll drill a hole here. We'll drill a hole here. And then down here on this flat we will drill another two holes in between in the middle. So like somewhere around here and around here. That way we'll have four points to hold on this coupling. So we'll, we'll grab it here then maybe down here this way. So that'll be the next process. I'm going to grind some flats on this and go from there. Okay so this is how we ended up. Uh, this isn't all put together yet and no, no, we're going to do that next but uh, I've got these screws in the bottom here. I've got there's four and had to do four and they're kind of offset because um, this is a six-sided coupling here it's not round so it, it created a little havoc and I had to get my my screws closer together and whatnot but it, it came out good so uh, that's that for that uh, next we're gonna put this whole brass assembly together and when I do I'm gonna use this Teflon tape and uh, notice it's yellow and you can read here on the back or maybe you can I don't know if I can focus on that or not anyhow it's set up for gases propanes and whatnot the other white Teflon tape isn't good for this kind of work so whatever you do if you're going to put make one of these you probably don't even need it on the brass but I'm going to put it on everything just to be safe so there you got it alright guys this is going to be the burner test We'll just see what we got here. guys I've modified this burner I didn't like it uh, the way it burnt the last time I did the video uh, this uh, pipe here was six inches I changed it to eight inches because it was hot halfway up uh, the flare I didn't care the way it, it burned so I went for a three-quarter to one inch bell reducer that's on backwards uh, then on this end so I can control this air better to can, uh, control temperature. I, I made this little disc that I just tapped down here into the, this bell reducer and uh, turn it back and forth and you can get wherever you want to have uh, your, your airflow to be right for you for whatever you happen to be working on. I think that's the only changes I made so we'll see how this burns. I'm going to do this one handed so it's going to, I don't know how it's going to come out but you know, everything's the same on this as it was on the 6 inch without all the changes. You can see the yellow Teflon tape. Probably don't need it here or here, but uh, it can't hurt, so I put it on anyhow. So we're going to fire this up here in just a second, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm at uh, 15 PSI. You know, we'll just crack this a little bit to get started. And we'll play from here, and you won't hear me again until I shut it off.
I think that was a pretty successful burn. Uh, didn't have any problems. You saw how far I got my fingers down to the almost to the flare. So uh, that worked. The uh, the air control worked. You know everything uh, did like I thought it would do. So there it is. Uh, that's the end of this one. So I'll show you as the foundry gets built and see where we go from there.